we're going to talk about th uh, Sutherland's lymphatic technique. One of the basic concepts in osteopathic medicine is the free motion of fluid across the all membranes of the body. Sutherland liked to do the central axis first and then work with the periphery in order to open up the blockages that would return fluids to the central system. He worked with the, up the thoracic inlet in the upper left thoracics, upper left shoulder. The uh, epigastric region, because there's a catch point as those uh, lymphatic vessels ride up with the, uh, with the esophagus through the esophageal hiatus. If there's restriction there, there will be impotence of good flow. And then a little bit lower, just above the uh, umbilicus um, to get at the cisterna chile. So now I'll show you how to do those techniques. The idea behind these techniques is that you're going to have one hand that is palpating the body, the other hand will be doing the motion. So this one's just kind of sensing, and the one on top is doing motion. And you want to be able to meet the forces of the tissue and the wave forces of the tissue. So you can't have the pressures that are too high or too low. You're going to put, for the first one, you're going to get right over thoracic inlet with your sensing hand, and then your other hand's going to go right over it. Go meet the pressures of the tissue all the way down, and then gently add a pulsating motion. And can you see how if I go too fast or too hard, it, you get like almost a splashing sensation throughout the body. And if I go too soft, nothing happens. You need to find the rhythm of the tissue that's there. Kind of like that. And you do that for maybe 30 seconds to a minute, depending on the uh, clinical presentation of your patient. If they're more sick, if there's more going on, you might do less time more often. If they're young and healthy and they just need some um, mixing it up, then you can do it for a little bit longer. In the second stage of his lymphatic technique, you come find your epigastrium. Here's the xiphoid process, the angles of, of the ribs, and come right into the epigastric region, not pressing on the xiphoid process, inferior to the xiphoid process, and do the same sort of thing. And this motion is posterior, superior. So you're almost doing a scooping motion. It's a he called it a lift. Just in this area, and you're trying to get just underneath the xiphoid, and you're thinking about that diaphragm and the esophageal hiatus, just inferior, superior to your hands, and it's just a nice pulsating motion to increase and enhance fluid flow from the diaphragm up into the thoracic region. And the third and final part of this technique is to come just above the umbilicus or below the umbilicus, wherever you, wherever you sense it might be more um, appropriate. And it's the same motion as the epigastrium, so it's posterior, superior, pumping motion. And you should be able to see this pumping motion happen all the way up through the thorax and up into the head. Be very careful in these two regions. They tend to be sensitive on people, so don't do pokes. Nice flat hand and nice motion.